One, South End nil. Dean, your thoughts on that win? Yeah, good to win, good to bounce back, obviously. We've had a little bit of turbulence of late in the last four or five games. Um, we knew we'd be asked a lot of questions tonight, and I thought we uh, stepped up to the plate and answered them. Um, so I thought a big moment in the game, realistically, was uh, we hit the post in the first half. I thought we had the better chances. They were a little bit dominant on the ball. They pressure really well, they're well organised. Uh, they've got blindside runners, they look runners from midfield. They like to do that as well with Noah Hussain. Um, but second half, when we put Gorman on and sort of changed the system, I thought that was in the 60th minute, that gave us a big advantage. Um, just going back to before the game, you brought on uh, you brought on Smith, Woods and Diara. What were the thinking behind those changes from Tuesday? Yeah, just a fresh up. Obviously, Smudge was a key player for us. Laurie was back as well, so we made four changes. Um, I thought Laurie was pretty comfortable today, steady. Uh, you know, reliable goalie that he is. Um, Woodsy, we wanted a little bit more physicality in midfield. Um, and who else did we bring back in, did you say? Uh, Moose, and Moose, just experience. Just coming here tonight, it's probably going to be six and a half, seven thousand. So, um, and we knew sort of the situation they were in. They've managed to pay their bills and stuff like that, and pay their players, pay their staff. So, we knew there was going to be a big hurrah. And if they beat us, they went to us on goal difference. So, um, yeah, we knew it was going to be. We need our experience really. Get as much experience as you can on the pitch. So, um, yeah, that was the, that was the reason behind it. Idris Kanu, three goals in three games. How good has he been lately? Yeah, I thought what he did really well. Bridge, listen, Bridge is a top player. You know, he's uh, the lad that plays left wing back. For him. He plays more like a left winger. They play off balance with uh, Gus Morris on the other side. He plays more like a right back uh, in their wing back system, more defensive. And um, you know, we, we, tr we tried to get on the inside of of their of their wing back as much as we could. It happened a couple of times, but we didn't we didn't complete a pass and we didn't penetrate in the first half. But I thought we put Danny out there to deal with Bridge. I thought he dealt with him really well. And then Idris obviously helped that we put him on the other side, and uh, it's great from the score. What he did really well when we got in on the one-on-one, -on -one, he's followed in. Um, he hasn't uh, stood still. I've been talking about getting his numbers right, and his goal the other day was on the back post, getting around the back post. He's got to get around the goal more, get around the kill zones, I call it. And uh, he's done that in the last three games, so delighted for him. Yeah, he has been magnificent. You mentioned in uh, the last few few interviews about the chances that we create, and again today the goalkeeper was in fine form to stop in two two of our one-on-ones as well. How great is it that we're still producing these chances in games. It's always a good sign of a team to produce chances. Um, the biggest thing for us is, and, and listen, what brings you success is making sure you have a back four, a back five with a midfield uh, that play week in, week out with a goalkeeper, obviously. You can rotate the front lads. That's For me, if you want success, and we haven't had that over the last five or six games, so we've had injuries to Ben Winter, massive player for us, Dom's a massive player for us. Obviously, Danny was out injured, he's back now. It looks like he's got that injury again tonight, just fatigue again, so we'll have to see how it is for Tuesday night. Um, so, yeah, I think the, the key to success is no no manager wants to change the team, you know. He, the front lads, you can, you can rotate, but especially not the defensive unit. And that sort of hurt us, really. Um, the other day we were caused by a sort of naivety against Oldham um, and the same against Altrincham. Well, we played well in both games. Um, tonight we showed a little bit more grit. They come out with us a little bit more. And, uh, like I said, I think the system changed in the 60th minute to sort of go 4-3-3. Three, three, um, made a big difference in the game. And finally, 243 bees came today. How great were they? Yeah, delighted for the supporters. We've given something to sing about, you know, all season. Um, and they get to see tonight. And I mean, it was nice to score at our end as well, where our supporters were. Um, look, the South End guys are, are a noisy bunch here, you know what I mean? They get on top of the referee. I thought the referee managed the game really well. He made a really sensible decision on, uh, on Sam Beard, where we had got some bodies back and he wasn't fully in on goal. Uh, he was closing on it, but we got some bodies around. I thought he made a really sensible decision. So, but I thought for their supporters, you know, at the end of the day, we're the ones that have sang at the end and, and come off cheering. So, it's a great night for us. Um, we've got a long way to go. Twelve league games left, uh, one quarter final left. So, one game at a time. Uh, we'll enjoy the weekend and we'll move on to Dorking, and hopefully we can see him down in Dorking on Tuesday night. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time. Thanks.